Okay, properties of logarithms. Here we go. Um, the product property. The product property with an exponent is like two to the fifth times two to the third. And the answer is two to the five plus three. Well, the product property in logarithms also has addition in it. And basically log base B of U times V means that I'm going to add U plus V and separate it out into two logs. The quotient property, which you've seen as like, I can just do them all with the two to the five over two to the three. I subtract two to the five minus three. And so that's gonna be two squared. Okay, so division sign, I divide, I subtract. Power property, <coughs> U raised to the N power. The N, the exponent gets multiplied, but we move it to the front. So it's N, the exponent goes first, the exponent times log base B of U. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go really slow through these and we're gonna practice using the properties, okay? So I am giving you the decimal value because remember in a calculator, logarithm is always base 10. It's always base 10. So if I have a different base, then my calculator is not going to give me what I want. So what happens is there exists these logarithm tables where you get decimal values for logarithms. So here we go. <clears throat> Log base five of three is 683 thousandths. Log base five of seven is one and 209 thousandths. So here we go. All right, <clears throat> three over seven, division, subtract, right? Here's how it looks. Log, write small please, base five of three minus log base five of seven. Subtraction problem. That's gonna change into decimals. Look at, I've been given the decimal values up there. <clears throat> 0 0.683 minus 1.209. And when I subtract that, I get negative 526 thousandths. You know how it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, right? B. <clears throat> This is an addition because it's seven times three. And you're like, how did you know to make 21 seven times three? How did you know? Okay. We're given log base five, and then I'm given the three value and the seven value. Well, I can make 21 from those. So I have to use what I'm given. That's gonna be, <clears throat> sorry, I think I need water. Seven times three. Log base five of three plus log base five of seven. Add them together. One and 892 tenths, hundreds, thousandths. Let me get water. Let me pause the video. Sorry, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to keep clearing my throat and it's super. Okay. C. 49. How can I use a three or a seven or something or a combo or whatever to make 49? Someone? Forty-nine. Um, seven times seven? Yeah. So I'm gonna do seven squared. Now this is the first time we've ever done this. Log base five of seven squared. 
the two goes to the front two times log base five of seven, two times 1.209. So instead of log base five of seven, I'm going to put one and 209 thousandths. Two and 418 thousandths. All right, example two. Log base three of two is 0.631. Log base three of five is 1.465. So here we go. <clears throat> a, it's a fraction, so I'm going to subtract. Log base three of two minus log base three of five. Point six three one minus one point four six five. So <clears throat> negative point eight three four. Okay. Ten, I can make, look at, I've got a two and a five. I can make it two times five. <clears throat> log base three of two plus log base three of five. Remember, multiplying is adding. Okay. All right. Um, so I just rewrite 0.631 plus 1.465, 2.096. And 125 is going to be five to the third, but I need to move on to our next note stuff. So I'm just going to go to example three, just for time purposes. All right, <clears throat> expand the following using properties. So I have a two times an X to the sixth. So I'm going to do log base five of two times X to the sixth. Well, that means it's a multiplication, a product property up above, product. So I'm going to add, and the six, is then going to go, I'll show you. Let's go slow. The first one I have, log base 5 of 2, I don't have to do anything to it. But then I'm going to go plus sign. And then I have this x to the sixth. Well, I can make it a logarithm because look, it had a logarithm with it. X, log 5 of 2, x to the sixth. So I'm going to then make the x to the sixth with the word log, make it into a logarithm. The six is going to go in front. Watch this. Six, so the six goes in front, log base five of x. See that? So the x to the sixth power got transformed into a logarithm. And the six moved to the front. And then we're done. We stop there. We don't know what log base five of two is. So we just leave it. Expand it, okay? Um, B, natural log, that's fine. Plus X to the fifth. Here we go. LN of six plus five LN of X, okay? Nine X is nine times X. Okay, so I'm still adding on all these. 
log of nine plus log of x. Easy, right? I'm expanding, rewriting. D. Here's D. Subtract, you guys. It's a it's a um, division. <clears throat> four x minus log base three of four x minus log base three of five, and you leave it like that. Okay, two times x times y. I'm adding all this, two ln of two plus natural log of x plus natural log of y. Look at F, F's got lots going on. The exponent in the numerator is going to make it an addition with the two in front. And the x squared is different than the two. That's the numerator. Let me rewrite the numerator. Numerator first. <clears throat> Natural log of two plus the squared, this is the exponent, ln of x. Now I'm doing the division minus ln of y. That's like horribly written, sorry. <laughs> that whole punch just ruined it. Natural log of two plus two times the natural log of x minus the natural log of y. Any questions so far? Okay. I'm going on to the next page. Here we go. Number four, log base four of 12 plus log base four of five. This is an addition problem, which means that the um, property is a multiplication product. So I'm going to multiply. What's 12 times 5? Someone, 12 times 5, go. 12 times 5? 60. 60. So I just write log base 4 of 60. And that's it, you guys. These are easy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly through these. B, C, D, E, F. B is a division because it's subtract. And it's two to the third power. See how the three's in front? Is ln of three. 24 over eight simplifies. See that? C is a subtraction. So I'm gonna write it as a division. I'm going backwards now. D, the three is in front. Bring it back and raise it to the power. Watch this. Log base two of three cubed. Log base two of three cubed. Log base two of 27. <clears throat> e, ready? Okay. First, worry about the plus business. 
and then I have a subtraction. This is going to be a division problem. And this is going to be a multiplication. So I'm going to have to do three times six, right? So the three times six is with the multiplication in the numerator. LN of three times six divided by LN of nine. Okay, so then that's the 18. Three times six is 18. And I can simplify that. LN of two. Natural log of two. And we all know, remember this, there's, this is a base E right here, but I don't write it all the time, but it is a base E. You all know this, yes? Little E's everywhere, but we don't put little E's everywhere. Like for log, we're given the base, but for natural log, it's always E. Okay, F, the six, let me see something. The six is gonna go as the exponent of X, log base two of X to the sixth. And the plus sign means it's a um, multiple product property. The three is gonna be the exponent on the X, log base two of X cubed. Got it? And I just leave it like that. Okay, if I need something to be a, the same base, let's talk about the change of base formula. Log base C of U. <clears throat> I can change base B. B is either gonna be a 10 for log or an LN of E, just depends. Look at A, B, C, and D are all logarithms. So they're just gonna be base 10, okay? And that's gonna be that the larger number becomes my numerator and the old base becomes the denominator. So my numerator is my U and my denominator, oh, it's D-E-N, denom. Okay. If it's not logarithm, I could do the LN, which would be here. So the base, the new base, is log base 10 or LN base E. That's what my new base becomes. All right, example five. So here we go. The eight becomes the numerator. And it's a 10, but nobody writes the 10. Eight over four. So I literally have to figure out what is log base 10. I'm not gonna write a 10, but it's there. What is the log of eight? 0 0.90 over. What is the log of four? 0 0.60. See how easy this is? The answer is one and a half. 0.9 divided by 0.6, one and a half. Then I'll do B and it's just a division problem log of 15 over log of six. Okay, 
Well, I got to put that in my calculator. Log of 15 is 1.17. Log of six is 0.77. Oh, that is 1.5 as well. <laughs> log of 30, C, log of 30 over log of three. Okay, log of 30, 1.47, log of three, 1.47 divided by 0 0.47, 3.1, okay? All right.